Hey everybody, you are watching Bitcoin Basics Club and this is Gaurav Bansal. And today I am going to discuss about a cryptocurrency that was named after a dog's breed. And that was floated out of joke and was not meant for a real investment purpose. Today, we are going to talk about Dogecoin. Press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. I have a very important question to ask. Before you make your investment in any cryptocurrency or crypto token, do you check its utility? Do you check for its use cases? Do you check the vision of the founding team, who the founding team is and why this cryptocurrency has been floated on earth? And above all, do you check its success? Whether it is exactly meeting the purpose it has been uh, floated for? How many of you have invested in Dogecoin hoping that it would make you rich someday? And how many of you really became rich of Dogecoin other than the period of uh, December uh, 2017 and January 2018? So this session today, I'm going to talk about what's wrong with Dogecoin and what's wrong with investing in Dogecoin. So when I talk about investing, the goal is pretty clear. If you invest in any asset class or any cryptocurrency or any to, uh, crypto token, or in fact to uh, any asset class like real estate uh, mutual funds the objective is precisely clear you want to grow your money the goal of investing is to grow your money but if you have invested in doge coin you had made a mistake because the intent of doge coin was never to make you rich the founders never floated it to help you make money out of it so what exactly was the purpose of why was it floated Dogecoin was floated out of joke in December 2013 by founders Jack Palmer and Billy Marcus. It was purely named after a Japanese breed of dog, Shiba Inu, and was purely based on one of the uh, hit uh, memes of those times, which was after the very same dog. It, in fact, has the symbol of a dog on it. So, what exactly was the purpose? The purpose was pretty simple and clear. They wanted to float a cryptocurrency just for fun. And they wanted to facilitate micropayments. They wanted it to be used for tipping purposes. For example, if you like someone's work on internet or any content on the internet, and if you want to tip someone, you can use Dogecoin for that. That was the real purpose of the Dogecoin. In fact, the founder Jack Palmer left the team in 2015. And in fact, there was no update on, any, on the software from the founding team for two consecutive years. So would you invest in any cryptocurrency that does not release any software update for two years? Are they really serious about it? So before you invest, you need to really check the intent of the, inv of the founders. I would like to read these statements made by Jack Palmer. The fact that most conversations happening in the media and between peers focus on the investment potential is worrying. As it draws attention away from the underlying technology and goals this movement was based on. I have a lot of faith in the Dogecoin co-development team to keep this software stable and secure. But I think it says a lot about the state of the cryptocurrency space. In general, that a cryptocurrency with a dog on it, which has not released a software update in over two years, has a dollar one billion market cap. These are the statements of the time of December 2017 when Dogecoin crossed 1 billion dollar market cap for the first time and it was the moment when it came in good highlights. So what exactly Jack Palmer intended to say? Jack Palmer really intended to, to say that there is something wrong with the market. With the people investing in it, thinking they would grow rich is strongly wrong. They are not getting the fundamentals of the cryptocurrency world. To add to a point, Dogecoin is an inflationary cryptocurrency. If you would compare it with the Bitcoin, the total number of Bitcoins that would be ever released has been capped to 21 million. But have you ever checked what would be the uh, total Dogecoins that would be ever released? If you would check, you would be surprised to know number of Dogecoins that can be ever released are infinite. Yes, I repeat, are infinite. Initially, it was capped to 100 billion Dogecoins, but later the cap was removed and it was made infinite. And in fact, more than 100 billion of Doge coins are in current supply in the market. Why was it done? Because they do not want it 
the people to grow it. They do not want it to be taken as an investment tool. They do not want it to be taken as an asset class. Simple. The other point why uh, they wanted to keep uh, the supply infinite because they wanted to facilitate micro payments. They wanted to keep uh, the transaction fees low. The core intent was to facilitate the tipping system over the internet. For that to happen, there has to be a cryptocurrency that can be used as a change for micro payments. For all the investors or all, rather than for all the users of Dogecoin, I would ask a question, do you know how many Doge coins are released as a reward when a block uh, is added in the uh, Doge coin chain? Kindly check that, how many Doge coins uh, are released as a reward in the mining? And does this reward get halved or does this reward get increased or is it constant? Just to add it to a point, in case of Bitcoin, after every block is added, 12.5 Bitcoins are released as a reward currently. And this reward is halved after a certain period of time. Earlier, they were 20, it was 25 bitcoins that were released as a reward. Now it's 12.5. And after a period of time, it would be 6.25 bitcoins that would be released as a reward. But that's not the case with Dogecoin. Kindly check that. So the entire uh, system, uh, entire uh, ecosystem of Dogecoin has been built uh, primarily for three use cases. A, I would repeat for low transaction fees. B, for, uh, to facilitate micro payments. Uh, to make it accessible as a tipping or for to keep it as cash. In fact, the third uh, strong use case is it can be used uh, for uh, payments across uh, e-commerce marketplaces. These are the three use cases. If you are uh, using uh, Dogecoin for any reason other than that, please do let me know. If in case for all the people who have a huge amount of Dogecoin, please do uh, relook on your investment strategy, please do read again. I have an important announcement to make here. I have added a link uh, in the description of this video. For all those who are keeping their Dogecoins on the exchanges, uh, you can create a paper wallet of Dogecoin and can safely uh, secure a Dogecoin in a paper wallet. I have added a link over there. And uh, I would just remind few people, uh, Bitgrill exchange was hacked and with that many uh, people lost their Dogecoins too. So uh, secure your Dogecoin and take a call about your investment strategy and please do subscribe to Bitcoin Basics Club and stay tuned for more updates and knowledge sessions. Thank you. Bye bye and take care.